On today's show, we're going to find out how to connect a wireless microphone to an iPhone and see if you still need all of this. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live three times a week show here on YouTube at youtube.com slash photo joseph, all about photography and video and live streaming and all that kind of stuff interrelated. It's all good fun and we're here and we're live. And if you aren't watching live, you should be watching live because if you're watching live, you get to participate in the chat. I get to bring you up here. I can see your comments in here, which is all fun. I get to see everybody. You guys get to see me and we get to have a conversation. If you have any questions throughout the show and you're watching live, pop them into the comments there, pop them into the chat. Make sure you put at photo Joseph in front of it. So I see it in bright red and we will come back on a second part of the show to do a Q&A and try and address all of those. And of course, if you're not watching live, just drop it in the comments and we'll do what we can. So today's show is about how to hook up a wireless microphone, wireless lav mic to your smartphone, specifically the iPhone. I don't know if it's any different on Android, sorry, but, uh, but I know this is what we need for the iPhone. Now I did this video a year ago and a couple things have changed and that video was really long so I'm trying to tighten this one up a little bit, but I wanna talk about a little bit of the history of what you needed and what you need now and how things may have changed. But first, let's talk about how you connect a mic in general. So first of all, forget wireless for a second. Let's just talk about the easiest way to do that. The easiest way to do that, being get a mic on your iPhone, is to use this. This right here is the Smart Lav Plus from Rode. This is not wireless, this is wired. This is a great little mic, it's about 100 bucks, and you can see on the tip of it, it has a TRRS plug. You're going, okay, wait, what? See this here? TRRS, four bands on there, four bands on there, and that is what makes it smartphone compatible. And that, that is the same on Android. The reason there's four plugs on here is a, it, it, one of the, if you look at the headphones that come with your smartphone, it's like this, TRRS, four things. That's left, right, microphone, and ground. That's why this is what you have on your one that you've got the little microphone on to talk and make calls on and so on, at least back when these things shipped with wired versions of these. If you look at a regular headphone port, let's go in for the close-up here again. I'm gonna pull, this is just a regular headphone jack here. Take a look at these side by side, and you'll see that there is one less band. Okay, so that's left, right, and ground. There's no microphone port on there. So if you were to take a standard microphone headphone thing, and you wanted, this is just a, like one of these, and you wanted to plug this into your smartphone, you would need an adapter to make that work. Well, the same thing goes for a microphone but then it doesn't work. So look at this, and let me go back to the close-up here. Um, here is that microphone, or that headphone jack, right? This right here, here's a little microphone pack, and the microphone tip is the same, TRS, tip ring sleeve. Well, that's stereo microphone, not stereo headphone, but it's the same basic idea. So you're thinking, okay, well, I know that my iPhone came with one of these. This little guy right here is the Lightning 2 headphone adapter. This comes with your iPhone, this comes with your 7, your 8, and your 10. This is what has come with everyone that since they dropped the headphone port. And the idea behind this is you can take a headphone and plug it in. Okay, great. So you don't need any special adapters, just plug this in and off you go. But a microphone is different because the microphone, it has the same port configuration that we just saw, but they're not left and right audio, they're left and right vocal input so that something isn't right there, so something doesn't line up. So before you can go plugging in a microphone into your smartphone, you need, into this, you need to run it through another adapter. And that adapter is this guy right here. This is the Rode SC4. What this does is it takes a standard microphone, stereo microphone or headphone jack and routes it into the TRRS. This then plugs into this little adapter that came with your phone. So you plug that into there. You take this end and you plug your microphone. So this right here is my Sennheiser mic pack. I'm just gonna plug that into here. And in theory, you'd think this is all that I need because now I've got the proper port configuration. I can plug this into my smartphone and it's going to work. That's what you would think. Now, when we did this with the iPhone 7, it did not work. Then I started seeing reports on that post, which again is a year old, people saying it works now with the iPhone 8, you no longer need all of this. And this we'll get into later. You don't need that anymore. You can do it the easy way. And I thought that's fantastic. So I hooked that up and I tested it. No. Yes and no. So we're going to get into all of that. We're going to plug this in. We're going to see exactly what does and doesn't work. But before I do that, I just want to remind you guys, for those of you watching the show, especially those who might be new here, of the value for value proposition that we have on this show. We are, we run on ads, we run on, on affiliate, we run on any way that we can get money at all. And the best way for you to help out this show is to head over to photojoseph.com support. If you feel like you have taken something from value 
here of this show today, then please head over to photojoseph.com support and consider contributing value back. There's a variety of ways to do it. You can do it through Patreon, through PayPal, by shopping at the affiliate store, or if you're doing something really, really big and complex, you can actually hire me directly to help you out, which would be super awesome. Um, speaking of the affiliate store, we're going to put a link down below to a, a dedicated, unique kit.com page where all of this stuff is going to be listed. So it'll be really easy to find the things that we're talking about in today's show. Okay, so back to it. We've got the microphone receiver. This is the receiver pack plugged into the TRS adapter. That's the SC4 from Rode plugged into the lightning adapter that comes from Apple. All right, so now I've got my iPhone here. It's my iPhone 10. I'm running an app called Filmic Pro on here. The reason I'm running Filmic Pro is because it shows me what microphone is being used and it shows me levels. So this is going to be really easy to see exactly what's happening here. So I've got an over-the-shoulder camera set up. Let's get this guy in here. There we go. So there's my Filmic Pro. You can see up here it says microphone, iPhone back. You can actually switch through to different mics on here. So within here, you can say microphone, iPhone front. You can switch which mic you want to use. Pretty cool. But here we're going to take this little conglomeration here. So there's my Sennheiser mic pack plugged into all this crap. And I'm going to plug this thing into here. And I plug that in, and in just a moment, that display is going to change, and it says headset microphone. Now, right away, you can see that it's massively peaking. But, okay, well, hold on a second. Step back. It works, right? We're getting audio into the phone just with this. This is fantastic news, right? Okay, the levels are just a little bit too high. That's okay. We can bring the levels down. That's what these packs do. <laughs> mm. Watch what's going to happen here. Okay, the AF out is currently set to zero. Let me pull this back so it's in focus there. Currently set to zero, and you can see that it's peaking. And by the way, I am wearing, the reason I have so many mics on right now is I'm wearing the transmitter for this. So it's in proper voice position, close enough to it. Okay, so AF out is set to zero, and we can see that it's peaking. I'm gonna take this down to minus six. Okay, it's, it's still too loud. And then I'm gonna take it down to minus 12. And look what happened. The phone just freaked out. The phone just activated Siri, got some weird electrical signal cross and it activated Siri. And let's get out of Siri and go back into this and take a look at my audio levels. My audio levels are non-existent. They're not there anymore. It's gone. Now, if I bring it back up to minus six, suddenly the levels come back, but they are blasting. So somehow between minus six and minus 12, we lose all audio. It sends out some weird signal. The phone doesn't know what to do with it and we're toast. That's it. You're done. So you go, okay, well, I'll just lower the output on the mic pack, but that's not how you're supposed to do it, right? If you lower the level on the mic pack and you gain it up on the receiver, it just, that does not give you the best possible quality audio. So the Sennheiser pack doesn't work for this. And I thought, okay, is this a Sennheiser unique thing? And this is, this is your standard, bog standard pro pack. Everybody uses these things. I have this other kit here, this KNF Concept wireless mic. I've done a test on this before. I'll actually put a link to that review. It's actually a very good microphone, not as good as the Sennheiser, but it's a very good mic. So then what happens with this one? Well, let me plug this one in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna unplug all of this stuff. And I'm gonna plug this mic into the little adapter. So again, we're mic into the adapter. And um, apparently we've, we're losing quality on the stream, but nothing I can do about it. Uh, we are plugged into the adapter and we are then plugged into the lightning adapter. All right, let's go ahead and plug this guy in. Let's go back into the over the shoulder shot. I'm gonna plug this thing in. It should come up and say, external mic again or whatever it says. Let's see, I put my microphone back. We're waiting for it to come up. It hasn't come up. Well, my output is set to, to one. Let's crank the output up a little bit and it's up to 14. Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. Nope, there we go. Headset microphone, it has come up. Okay, so I brought the levels up enough where it's showing and now if I bring it down, I might be able to get it down and I was earlier able to get this all the way down to one and it's still working. Okay, so now we've got a solution that actually works. But as you just saw the reliability is not there. So end of this part of the story is depending on your wireless pack, you may or may not be able to get it into your smartphone using just a TRS to TRS adapter and the lightning adapter. It may or may not work. You may have scratchy levels. You may have all kinds of weird things, but if it works for you, great. But if you want something that's totally reliable and rock solid, then we still need to go with this solution. So what the heck is this solution? This is a USB solution. What we're gonna do is use the lightning to USB adapter. This is what comes, this is the camera kit. This is the camera adapter kit. So you can plug in a camera or a USB SD card reader or whatever into this. The other advantage of this little adapter here, let me go for the close up, is it also has a power port on it. So if you plug this into your iPhone, microphone into this, you can also power it at the same time, which is pretty cool to be able to um, get that into focus there, to be able to do that. This right here is a USB 
audio adapter. These are super cheap. They're less than 10 bucks. Um, I've done a review on these things before as well. We'll link to them down below. This has a microphone and a headphone port on it. All we want is the microphone port. So I plug this into here. Then I take my Sennheiser pack. Let's get my Sennheiser pack and plug this directly into the mic port. That's the pink port. I no longer need the TRS to TRRS adapter because this is not a TRRS input. So I just need this. And now this I'm going to plug into the iPhone. And now watch what happens. Let's go back to the close up here. Let's get rid of that mic. So it's back to the iPhone microphone. I'm going to take this USB configuration, plug that thing into there. And in a moment here, it is going to show USB audio on there. It takes just a moment for it to recognize. There we go, USB audio device. And so now my levels are proper. You can see at minus six, which is the output that I normally would work at with this pack. Um, the levels there are great and clean. And I can take this all the way down, stick it all the way down to minus 30. The levels are low, but the device is still recognized. So the USB solution, is still the best solution. You may be able to get away without using it, depending on your mic, but reliability may not be there. Quality may not be there. I, I haven't done some quality tests on it. There may be some issues there, but without a doubt, if you want this to be reliable, rock solid it and work all the time, get the USB setup. And again, we're going to link to all this down below so that you know exactly where to get it. So that's how that works. Now, once you've got all this together, you're thinking, well, this is great. How in the heck do I shoot with this? That's kind of impossible. This right here is something called the shoulder pod. Um, this is an old one. It's a little iPhone holder. And I actually modified this thing by adding a cold shoe to the top of this. Now, the modification for that is something I actually did on a lynda.com uh, video, the DIY photographer. If you haven't seen that before, this is, this is kind of fun. I would highly recommend you check this thing out. If you head over to lynda.com and search for the DIY photographer or just type in photojoseph.com slash DIY, it'll redirect you. You also get a 10 day free trial at photojoseph.com slash lynda. And I have a whole series in there. It's a whole, it's like 30 videos long, whole series about DIY photography tips. I'm going to link down below to the specific one where I talked about mounting this onto here. So if you've got an older shoulder pod, this is kind of a version one, I guess, uh, we'll show you how to do that. Um, the new shoulder pods, actually, you can buy it with an accessory to hold the thing off to the side, which is pretty cool. But anyway, so what I do with this is I take this, put my iPhone into the shoulder pod, clamp that thing down. I've got the cold shoe on top. I can now attach this onto here, get that into place. And now I've got a good solution. I can put a handle on the bottom of this. You can see it's already got a tripod plate. I can put that on a tripod or whatever we do, want to do. So now I've got pretty good video through your iPhone and great audio through the wireless lab. So that, my friends, is all there is to it. If you want the best quality audio wirelessly, get the USB connection kit, put this whole thing together, and you're going to have superb audio quality from this day forward. All right, folks, that's it. We're going to jump into the Q&A now. So stick around, or if you're watching not live, click on the next thumbnail that comes up to take you to the Q&A portion of the video, and we'll answer any questions that might have come up during the show.